Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. Today we are going to see about Collision in Unity 2D. In our previous video, we saw the basics of Unity Collision. You can check out that video from the link in the description. So, I have two sprites in my scene. One is a square and the other is a circle. As of now, there are no colliders attached to it. So, let's select our square and add a box collider 2d to it and then select the circle and add a circle collider 2d remember for any 2d collision you require 2d colliders so if you add 3d colliders to it then the collision will not be detected also for the collision to be detected one of these object should have a rigid body attached to it so let's select the square and add a rigid body 2d to it Again, rigid body 2D, not rigid body. The body type should be set to dynamic. If it is set to static or kinematic, then the collision will not be detected. We will not set the colliders as trigger as of now. So we will see how it works and then we will check trigger and see how to detect collision if the collider is checked as trigger. So now we have a square and a circle with the colliders, 2D colliders attached to both of them and a rigid body 2d attached to the square now to detect collision we have to attach a script to one of these game objects so let's attach the script to the square and we'll call it collision test okay so now new script create an ad let's open the script in visual studio for editing Now, Unity provides some basic function for detecting collision in both 3D and 2D. So, we don't require the start and the update function here. What we need is void on collision enter collision. Uh, this function takes an input variable of type collision. So we'll give collision call. Again, it should be on collision enter 2D. And it should be collision 2D. Now this function will be called when the collision actually starts. So we'll debug log dot log. non trigger colliders entering collision okay so now let's go to unity and see whether this works before we test it there's one more thing you should check it's about the layers so this both the square and circle are in layer default so you have to go to edit project settings physics 2d layer collision matrix if default layer does not collide with default layer this collision will not be detected so if, the, if this is unchecked this will not work you have to check this make sure the layer matrix is checked for whichever layer your object is in now let's play the game let's open the console window the square had a rigid body so it fell down so let's select the square and let's say no gravity so we'll say gravity scale zero now let's play the game so the square doesn't fall down now both these objects are not colliding so there's no message printed on the console now let's select the square and move it slowly near the circle so when it collides you get the message non-triggered colliders entering collision so it's working this function is called only once when the colliders enter into collision what if you want to detect whether the colliders are still colliding or not so unity has another function called void on 
collision stay to be this also takes a collision variable as input collision to be sorry so this will return this function will be called as long as the colliders are in collision state so let's say debug log then let's say non colliders in collision let's go back to the game let's play it now let me move the cube manually to the circle and as you can see there was a single message on trigger colliders entering collision and since they are still colliding you're getting non-trigger colliders in collision and since these colliders are not marked as trigger they won't overlap each other so as you can see if i leave the square on the circle it basically comes out of it that's because two physical bodies cannot remain inside each other so it has to be on the surface similarly if you want to detect the exit of a collision that is two objects which are colliding with each other are going to exit there is another function called on collision exit so let's go and type in void on collision Exit 2D. This also takes a collision variable as input. Now here we are going to debug dot log. Sorry, dot log, and we'll say non trigger colliders exiting collision. Not Let's go back to Unity, play the game, go to the scene view, move the square to the circle. So let's see what happened. First, non trigger colliders entered collision and they stayed in collision. And when it moves back, I guess the exit function didn't get called. Let me go and check the code once. Okay, it should be E in capital. So spelling mistakes are major problems in this unity functions because unity doesn't auto complete these functions you have to be very careful with the spellings and the capital letters now let's try again okay there was one more mistake in the code it has to be collision 2d now let's play the game go to scene view drag the square to the circle and leave it so First, non trigger colliders entered collision, then they stayed in collision, and remove them, then they exit collision. So that's it. You're able to detect when the colliders are entering into collision, when they are staying in collision, and when they are going to exit the collision. So this was about colliders which are not triggers. Say if one of them is a trigger. So let's set the square to be a trigger and let's play the game. If an object is set as trigger, it can basically go through the other physical object. So, for example, I can just drag the square inside the circle and it will stay there. And as you can see, none of our collision functions are called. The reason is, if you have set one of your colliders as trigger, you have to use on trigger enter. You have to use on trigger in place of on collision and it will take a collider input rather than the collision input so let's just copy all these three functions and make new functions and we'll replace on collision with trigger exit and this collision 2d will become collider 2d and remove non from the trigger colliders let's trigger colliders so now we have functions for both trigger and non-trigger objects save the code go to unity
Now if I move the square into the circle, you can see trigger colliders entered collision. That means the trigger functions have been called. Trigger colliders are staying in collision. And if we go out, it exits collision. If I uncheck trigger and then do the same thing. So you can see the non-trigger functions are called. So this was the basics of collision in Unity 2D. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll address them. You can also check out the blog post on Vinix Studio, which has all details on Unity Collision. It is a super simple guide and you can refer to it whenever you have problem with collisions. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.